This is a part of a series of videos where I show you how to use Aspen version 11 at a beginner's level. These are in no way complete guides, nor am I professional, so everything I say must be taken with a grain of salt. <coughs> Today I want to show you how to achieve desired operation conditions by automatically varying process variables in your simulation. I've set up a very simple ethanol water flash drum system with a 50-50 feed of water and ethanol, which feeds to a flash drum. I've arbitrarily set the temperature at 70, and for a bar pressure, I put one to keep it consistent with all of my streams. Let's say we wish to find an operation temperature for the flash drum in which half of the mass in the feed enters the vapor stream. The first step to this problem is by creating a sensitivity study. I have already done a video on sensitivity studies previously, and if you hop over to that video, it'll make this go much smoother. Under Model Analysis Tools, Sensitivity, New, we will be varying the temperature of our flash drum. from 30 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius in increments of one degree. Our very tab, blue check marked. For define, or our dependent variable, let's call it vapor mass. Typically, in the past, we've chosen mass flow under our type. However, you will see that mass flow likes to specify a component mass flow. We wish to find the mass flow of the entire stream, which means instead of type mass flow, we will go type stream var, much like block var. Our variable here will be mass flow, and we have a blue check mark. Tabulating, we're just filling in our information, and now we're ready to hit run. You can see our simulation ran just fine. If we go into results, we are now able to see this effect. Right about 82 degrees, we start to get mass entering the vapor stream. Before we continue, we need to mathematically define the operating condition we wish Aspen to create. Since we wish half of the mass in the feed to end up in the vapor stream, we could think of it as the mass of the vapor stream divided by the mass of the feed stream is equal to 0.5. This will become important as we begin to create our design specs. We can find design specs under flow sheeting options. If we recall back to our equation previously, vapor mass over feed mass is equal to 0.5, we had two variables that we had defined in that equation. Similarly, under the Define tab, we will also have to create those variables. Clicking New, and naming it Vapor Mass, and under Type, clicking Stream Variable, because we want the flow of the entire stream rather than just a component flow, or Vapor. This is our Mass Flow. We can see this variable as a blue check mark. We are also going to define feed mass in a similar process. We can now say that the define tab has a blue check mark. Under the specifications tab, we must now input the equation we defined earlier. If we right click, variable list, we can see the variables we had just defined in our Define tab. I hit Copy, Paste, our vapor mass divided by, Copy, Paste, our feed mass should equal a target of 0.5. And for our tolerance, very low tolerance. Lower the tolerance, the more accurate the result. Under the Vary tab, we can see it operates similar to sensitivity studies. This is where we define our independent variable, which in this case 
is the temperature of our flash drum. Contrary to sensitivity studies, the lower and upper bound of our manipulated variable limits matter quite a bit. The Aspen Plus Design Spec Solver throws up errors when it's getting no closer to satisfying our equation. In the context of our flash drum simulation, this means that if we choose a lower bound that sets a temperature below the bubble point, which is defined as the temperature at which vapor first forms, Aspen will find that the solver initially gets no closer to satisfying our equation, and therefore will stop the solution. A relatively simple way to decide what lower and upper bounds should be for your design specs is using sensitivity studies. Going back to our sensitivity study results, we can see that the temperatures at which the amount of mass in the vapor phase is changing is between 82 degrees Celsius and 91 degrees Celsius. Our design spec is now completely defined and ready to be run. Some final steps to be done before the simulation can be run. We must first disable our sensitivity study, as the design specs and sensitivity will interact in a bad way, which will generate errors. And to change the initial operating temperature of our flash drum to a temperature within our design spec range. Any number will do, it just has to be between the lower and the upper bound. Back at our main flow sheet, our simulation is finally able to be run. And as we take a look at the two streams, we can see that they are essentially equal, and that the vapor phase is essentially half the mass flow of our feed.